his statement on today's win against College of Charleston? Yeah, good bounce back win for us. Um, give College Charleston credit. They competed all weekend, won the series. Um, but I'm just uh, proud of the way our guys came back today and, um, you know, salvaged a win, kept us in top of the league with Northeastern. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can learn from it. Um, still disappointed a little bit on Friday, Saturday, but you got to move on from that. And I thought we responded better today. And uh, it starts on the mound. Zane Taylor had a great start for us. Uh, really good outing. Uh, Luke Craig did Luke Craig things for us. And I thought just offensively, we had a lot better at bats. Um, down at the bottom of the lineup, Kevin Jones and Bromley Thornton, uh, two hits each. I thought Bromley's two two out RBI hits were huge to just get us on the board early. And then uh, Jack Kroom drove in a couple runs, and John Newton had a big hit for us. Zane, in his own words earlier, said that he wasn't very good in the last two outings. What was the difference today that you may have seen? Uh, I just thought he. Uh, Pitched ahead in the count more for most of the hitters. Um, we kept the leadoff hitter off. Uh, I think all the innings except one that he pitched, and um, you know just uh, you know filled the zone up. Their their team's really really good at battling at the plate. They don't strike out a lot and they move the ball around. If you make mistakes up in the zone, they're going to hit it hard. And that's what we saw in the seventh. It looked like he was getting the ball up a little bit more. So we decided to kind of go to a fresh bullpen with Luke Craig. You talk about them battling at the plate. Bromley Thornton, a couple of yeah. you know, RBI hits with two strikes. Talk about Bromley's approach today and getting in the lineup. Nah, just a uh, freshman that got out there, uh, seized an opportunity. Uh, he's played some for us, but, uh, you know, hadn't played consistently in the last week or so. But, uh, you know, had a lefty going today, thought he'd be a good matchup. And I just thought his approach off a of lefty, staying middle of the field. Uh, his first hit was to right field with two outs, driving a run. Second hit was a single back up the middle. So um, when you got lefties like that or throw in more um, on the outer half of the plate or middle of the plate versus righties, you got to stay on it and use the whole field. You always talk about the importance of sweeping and not getting swept. Yeah. Just talk a little bit about what that does over the course of the season. Well, the. Previous two weekends, we were able to get six wins, so that, that, that separates you a little bit from the league. Uh, and then this weekend, you know, we went 0-2 on the first two days, and you got to find a way somehow to, to salvage that last game. And it's kept us, you know, right at the top of the league. We can regroup now. We've got a midweek game against the in-state foe. Uh, hopefully we'll have a big crowd out here and, and, and play well again in the midweek. And then we got another home conference series against Towson. And, uh, you got to be ready to play no matter who in the league you play. And um, hopefully our guys learned a little bit this week about uh, maybe just maybe being, uh, you know, don't take take every day for granted. You got to be you got to be ready um, and and don't let anything slip away because you don't ever get those back. Um, like I said, give Charleston credit. Played good all weekend. Um, I think we could have played a lot better from a UNCW standpoint on Friday and Saturday, but I'm glad the way our guys bounced back today.